Hello and welcome to Online Saturday. It's odd night, I suppose, but it's not what I wanted. It's um, meant to be rocket racing. It was very unclear from the PSN that when you download Rocket Racing, it actually downloads Fortnite, and Fortnite becomes a launcher for it. I feel like the communication there is not great. But yeah, the point today is to try Rocket Racing. Always into racing games, trying to find a good online one would be interesting. I did Trackmania a little while back, and eh, it wasn't that great. I still kept it and occasionally pop in, but I think it was something cool. Now I've got this lobby. This is my first time ever playing Fortnite, or anything in Fortnite, so, you know, I'm guessing a lot here. This is my current lobby. We've got Rocket Racing, no idea what Troll Bed Wars is, or Slap Fights, or this, or this, or this. Oops. Ah. How did this happen? So if I press up on here, is that... No. So why is it... I don't know. It just dumped me on the screen, no tutorial whatsoever. I've played mobile games to do this thing better than this. Let's just head to play and see what happens. So yeah, to just play Rocket Racing, it's like a 63 gigabyte download. Also, not particularly happy about that. Oh, and apologies for the PS4 in the background. It's a launch model Japanese PS4. Not even a pro, it's just a normal PS4. So it's really quite interesting to see how the newer games are how working on it, but it does push it hard, and you often hear the fan nowadays. Nearly every game we play. And there's also a little low hum of the air conditioning, because it is hot here in Japan. Huh. R2. A little dome and log stick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what does Drift do? Is it Ridge Race the style to make some turbo charge? Ah, okay, it automatically applies it when you come out of the corners. So my first go-to when it comes to things like this is Ridge Racer style. Ah, okay. So you get a boost coming out of the corner, but you also charge another boost which you can use with Triangle. This isn't a bad tutorial. It's a track, it's in-game action. Oh, X. I think it could do a slowing down the action just a little bit more. Or it's fly. Huh. Well, we bounced off the top and got slammed down. What was I meant to do? It's like um, a bit more manual than Sonic Racing All Stars Transformed. What's that other band that just came up? What was missed? On the left there, this just came up saying missed. Wait, so the thing on the right, is that my fly stamina meter? Let's keep learning. I'm enjoying a tutorial, but I'm really enjoying that. Whoa, whoa, we stuck to the wall. Oh, okay, and up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, now that's cool. You like Mario Kart, so you have a special bumper you touch. Yeah, I hit the wrong button then. And that bumper sticks you to the wall that it's on. But here, it's no special bumper on the ground. I don't mind that there are walls telling you or keeping you in play. That's not too bad in my opinion. It kind of removes shortcuts from the equation and uh, makes it a little bit more fair. Just avoid the. No. Let's just. Um, left. 
Huh. It's almost like the air brake from Wipeout a little bit. I'm, I'm impressed with this tutorial. Thankfully, it's not... We don't have to do anything about the picture of the car either. I guess that sign means a tight corner. It's taken a little while to get used to that. Jump. Almost missed. But you know what? That was one of the better tutorials I've ever done. Because it gave you the basics. I said, hey, are you ready? And it gave you a choice. Do you want to race or do you want to do more? I want to do more. And it was still in game. It kept it in game. And that was. Okay, despite how bad the lobby is, that tutorial section was surprisingly impressive. And more intuitive than I found Trackmania. And granted, since I did that Trackmania video, it's been updated quite a few times. But I still has some of the bugs and issues I had from my own video, so yeah, I, like I said, I do pop in every season or so just to try out some of the tracks. But I don't, I rarely do anything online in that game. I'm kind of like the solo, repetitive. Uh, retrying tracks for higher scores. But here, see I have Rocket League. I'm like one trophy away from the platinum, and I can't remember what one I missed. Wait. Is this an advert for the game or an advert for Fortnite in general? It's just an ad for a metallic attire and across the game. Well, there's Lego, so yeah, okay. I think it's maybe the first game I've done where there have been in game adverts for itself. <laughs> I, I, I've got no money, I, you know, this is my first time ever playing the thing. Now, three spinning bottom left. If I, do the, if I hit play, is it going to be tutorial or is it going to be specifically a game online? I don't know. And there's nothing here telling me how to customize or anything. I hit triangle, see what happens. And hopefully, the game will reveal how to do stuff itself. Um, again, so many of the smartphone games I play, they slowly introduce via like an hour long tutorial session of how everything works. So I'm going to hope that's what this does, because it is on mobile. But, I don't know. Like I said, I've never launched it, never downloaded it, never played it before. This is... I just wanted Rocket League Racing and... I was just very shocked that it downloaded 63 gigabytes of other stuff. <laughs> it's... It really needs a bit of communication of what actually is happening. It's a tutorial. It's a tutorial. I don't want a tutorial. Whoa, what's all this stuff? How do I get out? Ah. Let's reset. Let's reset. Where is the abandon? Stop playing. Is it triangle? I don't want to do the tutorial again. Why did it put me in the tutorial? It said play and I hit play. It said up for the tutorial. No idea. Basic gameplay ruined by the general UI. <laughs> Ah, so when the flash is triangle, I can get a double boost. I'm still doing the Ridge Racer style for the turbo. Let go of the brake. Aha. Uh -huh. Still low? No, okay, we can just all the way up.
We need to race. Yes. So how do we race then? I'm not intentionally trying to be dumb here. I know in my videos I try to come at it from like an every person approach, but it said triangle to race. I hit triangle and it took me to the tutorial. I haven't played Fortnite, where did this stuff come from? Maybe it's because I have an Epic Games account and it's linked them because the PSN's linked? Maybe this is all stuff I've downloaded over the years for free because of PlayStation Plus? That's my guess, is that this is from PlayStation Plus over the years. And of course I've never started it before, it's never had a chance to give me this stuff before. But it says thanks for playing Fortnite, and I haven't played Fortnite to get this stuff. It needs to tell me where this stuff's actually come from. Like I said, I'm assuming PSN. Maybe I've got stuff from other promotions that I wasn't aware of. Some of this stuff sucks. Pickaxes? Those are swords. How much stuff is there? I know this game's been out for a long time, but... Ah, hopscotch. Who's that? Is this some sort of Mass Effect tie-in? I don't know. There's pickaxe and then it says scimitar. It's like, make up your mind. That's not too bad. Eh. Not too much for the RGB of it. It just keeps going. There's no hint along the bottom of how many things we've got left to scroll, either. I'm like, I'm in so far, I want to keep going just to see what it all is. That logo character looked kind of cool, actually. Who is Lena? I don't know. Why is there a petrol pump? There you go, Fortnite things? Is that congratulations? For what? Epic Games, this is a tie-in. Thank you for making your account more secure. Okay. Ah, that's not too bad. Wait, it's claim. 76 items there. And still nothing that tells me how to actually just play a game and not do the tutorial again. I'm gonna hit up. Maybe up's not. Um. It's taking a while to load. You think this would have loaded in the background? It says ranked racing, speed run. And it's. Are they, are they just two game modes? Where's just online multiplayer? Do it by track? Playlist? What's UEFN? Oh, Rocket Glee Racing, that's RL. That's ILR. Speed run. I don't know, everyone keeps... There's a lot of people in Fresh Mountain. A lot of people in playlist racing. Should we do the mountain one? Sure. Oh, okay, okay. 
So you hit up to choose what you want to play, then you go press triangle to actually choose to play it. Wow, this is... I don't know which was more difficult for new players. This or Trackmania. Because they both said nothing. Actually, Pokemon Unite was pretty terrible for new players as well. The only thing this has over a Trackmania is that the tutorial is better. And not buggy. But we'll see if the racing's buggy. It's Trackmania, even now, I still come across a couple of bugs here and there trying to play that, that game. We were waiting for matchmaking to start, we weren't, now we're waiting for an actual game. If you watch a lot of these online Saturday videos, you know Splatoon 3 is like the golden standard. Less than 30 second average per game. Star Wars Hunters is quite close, there's a couple of videos of that. Trove Stars was bad last time we played it. Um, oh, what was that mobile game? Rumble Wars? That was pretty quick. There's no ETA. Wait, it's waiting for matchmaking to... There's, um, like, Hawked wants us to choose what region we're in. Is this not going to do that? Is this just guessing? Because if it's going by PSN name, my PSN is the UK. I currently live in Japan, like I said, it's hot here in uh, Yokohama. So that could be also causing trouble. Actually, quite a few of these games actually ask where I am. Why is that person bouncing? So it is Fresh Mountain. Okay. I hear no engine sounds. No sound still. I have no sound. What's happening? Okay, so lava doesn't kill us. That's good to know. So I'm guessing green might be normal drift. Well, I was about to say purple might be um, when we have to jump, but I guess not. Speed pad, I'm going to miss them all, of course. The sense of speed isn't quite as I expected it to be. I think they're off road, it's not bad. Oh, I just about remembered. <laughs> I'm just going to try and drift through, but I thought, let's hit the wall so we can get some speed. There we go, I remembered that. And finally hit a pad. Um, we're on like a rock band kind of gameplay board, aren't we? That was unexpected, but kind of cool. Ah, uh, trying to jump on top of them. Yeah, there's no sound whatsoever, and I have no idea why. I thought I just turned off. Whoops. I thought I had turned off the voice chat, and that was it. We're eighth. Not bad for my first ever race. Oh, oh we didn't quite make it. Okay. I needed to have jumped. But again, this is my first time ever on this. So, oh, that was popped in on the side there. This isn't a mechanical hard drive in here. It is a SSD. But the base model PS4 can't really take advantage of SSD speeds. It's faster than mechanical, sure, but it's not as fast as it could be. There's a... Um, Oh, I don't remember what it is. Something that got changed for the Pro model that the base one doesn't have. So the Pros can take control of um, SSD speeds, but the base can't. Where are we? Knife. Okay. 
<laughs> not last. How many drawings are there? It just says 10, but it says expand. Knife out of what? You know, 9 seconds, 10 seconds off. I'm going to return to lobby. This track by Epic. We have music in the lobby. Again, there's no message saying, hey, this is going to happen. Or, hey, there's no music. I am recording this. Maybe um, by turning off the security on the PS4 for the recording, maybe that turns off the music. I don't know. It's like, talk to me, game. What's happening here? Where's settings? Is it options? There's sound there. Um, push chat. I want to push that off. I want tags. Settings. Um, sure, I always like a little brighter. Can't remember, don't need that. I should put that in there. It's on FPS. Volume. See the sounds there. Top tiles on, yeah. We shout off. Play license audio. Ah, oh, why won't this? Come on. I'm in a circle. There we go. Music's on, but I don't know why it wasn't playing. Region. Region. Where's Japan? Asia. There we go. Still no sound, no music. I wonder why. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head out to the PS4 settings, re-enable, was it FCD peel to whatever it is, and see if that will turn on the music. Because this is just weird. So yeah, see you on the other side. And we're back. It takes like three or four minutes just to get to the screen when you start it. The whole login process just takes a long time. Even Pokemon Unite is quicker than this to get into the, just the lobby area. Um, yeah, I enabled HTCP, hoping that might, you know, bring in the music. But I'm hearing nothing right now. I have no idea what's happening. But what I was just thinking with the tutorial, it was a case of did it, it said, do you want to continue tutorial or play game? When it brought me back to the screen, it said, hey, is this your first time? Do you want me to tell you what this stuff does? Do you want me to tell you where everything is? You can say yes or no. If you hit no, get straight in. If you hit like, yes, me, this is my first time, show me what it all does. That would have been really useful. And it's loading. I was like, can I do anything? I say, like, I hit up and up took me down. What? So, up again, change mode. I have no idea why it's so slow this time. It's, it is sort of getting close to the late evening here. Perhaps it's just a popular time to play games here. But we did fresh mounting and that did no music. I guess, well, boy, yeah, so he has 22 players. One of the good things about showing the player count is that you can pick tracks of people who are actually racing on. 
one of the bad things is you know how few people are playing this game. So let's do ranked. It's a playlist, so where's the list of the you know, where's the list of it? Is it down here? It doesn't even tell us what we're going to be racing on. Um, I need mean, sound effects, we'll get no music. Right? So what's Neon Rush? What can we do here then? Uh, maybe it's like Gundam and we can do some minor things. Wait. Are you even going to ask if we want to download it first? Because, you know, we download the game and then it downloads on PlayStation what you, the minimum you need and all of it. So I've downloaded all of it and now it's saying we know we've got more to download. It's like, you know, I don't have infinity space on this hard drive. All the games I play, for the sides and stuff, it gets quite, it's typically quite full most of the time. He doesn't even say how much it was downloading. At least when Pokemon updates, it just says, hey, it's going to be this many megabytes. Ah, oh, it's just the communication. This game, Trackmania, is their, is their big Achilles heel. No matter how good or bad the gameplay is, if the user experience isn't great, then, you know, it just feels such a waste. It's like such an unattractive wrapper, but inside is something good. So you got to get through the wrapper to get there. It's always a loading on the right, connecting on the left. Better not be a tutorial again. Is there just 12 of us? How many are there? One. I thought L was going to take us down the list. Well, at least there's music this time. So I have no idea why there wasn't any last time. Wait, we in the tutorial? Do we have to do the tutorial before we can do the ranked? Yeah, goodbye everyone. Thank you. I don't think I need a rocket there one, but I'll rocket this one. Come back here. Okay, short lap. There's no way to look backwards either. Well, then again, it hasn't told us that there would be a way. Ah, oh, I didn't quite do what I wanted there. Same rocket, but this is just a regular drift and it seems to be fine. Quite judge it good enough to go straight. Oh yeah, let's try it up against the corner. That is such a weird look when they're um, stretched out in my peripheral. Ah, oh, come on, come on. I'll try and take it tight. So quick, they must have so much more turbo left than we do. Ah, oh, wow. second. Hey, that's why in second, that's the thing. So, why don't I have a picture? It says ranked recap, but I have no idea what it, what's it recapping. I guess what next race? Be sticking with these same group of people? It's interesting because I'm in Japan and I said they reached into Asia and yet all these names are in English. Which makes me wonder if I'm really am playing against people or not. That's kind of like I said in the Star Wars Hunters videos. It's one way I 
just one thing I use is a tell. Um, in Star Wars Hunters, it was quite easy to tell eventually when we started playing with real people, because then the names started becoming Japanese or Chinese or Korean, you know, Asian names. But here, they're all kind of positive. So I wonder, why is it finding a match if we're already in the group? Shouldn't the language be syncing up or something? I don't know. But yeah, the fact that none of the names are in a foreign language makes me wonder if we're actually playing against real people or not. Same there on the left. This is another track. How many tracks are there? Because I guess if we're not doing a set amount like in a tournament, like this is race two or four. We didn't get a super start. I wonder how you do that, because the tutorial didn't tell us how to get a super boost star. Ah, someone's got something customizable. So maybe they are real. I almost forgot about the hazard stuff, so I'm quite glad the game told me about it. That would have been the right place to tell me about the boost jump. Um, boost drift. Ah, oh, I should have hit down to come down on that. by accident. I wonder what other uh, things we can do that will help create a boost. Like if we drift, or if we draft, if we jump. Ah, oh, I was trying to take a bit tight but I got boxed in by everyone else. one. Where are we? Uh, bounce between second and third, okay. Yeah, you don't want to be in the air too long, because you're not technically going any faster. So you want to spend the minimum amount of time in the air. And the most amount of time on the ground. So that's why I'm, my jumps are perhaps are looking a little close. That's why I'm trying to use the ramps to jump to keep the speed up. Ah! Oh, just missed it. If I got that boost, I might have got first. I didn't press anything. What's happening? Again, game, tell me what's happening. You got a whole screen here. You can tell me what we're doing. Are we loading? Are we going back to lobby? Is it start of the hour? Or, you know, like Splatoon, when it starts the hour and it resets everything and creates a whole bunch of new stages to play on? It was then just go silent. Did it crash? I don't know. Or did it actually find a game with real people and now trying to put me in it? Even though one that the the winner or no, the guy who came second had customized smoke, I'm still not entirely convinced they're real people. So there was a problem and it says here that it failed to report it. And then in the background, there was that thing appearing. So now what? Pick a different stage. It's a ranked playlist, but I didn't really see 
anything happening with my rank. Ah. Yes, if you've missed the other videos, I have a D-pad drift. So it um, forces it down. Oh, what do I boy have? There's only 22 people. How boring is that? I think I have a few people are playing this. But I don't know if that's all around or if it's just my region. Epic Mega Ramp. Sure. That's a community track. Game 404. That's the code if you guys want to play yourselves. So it's downloading it. We're not streaming it from the center or anything. You know, a little bit planet did this in the day where you would download the data and then you'd play it. But you'd think this is so many years later that it would just stream it. There's no progress bar for downloading. How much data it is, it doesn't tell us if, it, if it's going to be permanent. The, what was it, Little Big Planet? It would only keep it if you saved it. So you could play it and then choose to save it. I think that's how it did it. I'm trying to remember, it's been a long time. Yeah, I think that's how you did it, because on the PSP version of Little Big Planet, you could play games and if you wanted it, you could download it and keep it. So here, do you think it's going to tell us? Are we going to get that option to actually? Save it? Oh, how long is this going to take to download? This is, my PS4 is wired to the internet, by the way. And if you follow Cloud Monday, you'll see all, after all the videos will show you the internet connection. So it's around 40 to 60 megabytes per second down. So, you know, <laughs> shrug, I have no idea what's happening. It's just, there's no communication, there's no transparency here. Kind of just asking us to trust it. I should put a timer up. Oh, that's gonna be so much hassle. Yeah, I'm not gonna put a timer up. I'm just gonna leave it. And there's no like cool music in the background. How is there no music? No, there's not even like a nice jazzy thing. Or there's no music from Rocket League. It's just silence. The background is not animated. It very much looks flat. <laughs> Even Pokemon Unite is a bright background that that doesn't animate, but it just looks expansive. Oh, what is doing whatever it is down there? Let's hit R1 and see what that is. What's Locker? Oh, this is, must be the customization stuff. Um, so uh, I suppose it looks like a controller, but I kind of like them. Oh, I says on the left there, introduce chapter two, season five, chapter four, chapter two, chapter three, season five. Season 10, 5, Season 3, yeah, that'll do. Back bling. I do like the idea that there is a shuffle. That's kind of cool. It's a shame it's got to reload the whole model in and just can't just change the backpack. See, it says reactive, but there's no button to show what the reactive thing does. And disappointing. It's kind of nice. Why is there a plus next to these two? I'm just pressing buttons to see if they will do anything. Sure, let's use that one. Ah, 
I assume that is still matchmaking in the background. There's nothing on the screen that says it's matchmaking. At least, even Gundam... Oh, what was that? Gundam Evolution? Even at least that said what was happening. Yeah, I like that one. That's kind of fun. Why isn't he falling? Sure. And he's fun. Like, where's the hell gas one? Don't really like any of these, if I'm honest. Sorry, that one. Looks like something out of Mass Effect. Oh, I really don't want to mess with emotes. Lobby. If I go back and it's not been doing any of the... Um, what was the colour? Let's make it yellow. Like the side colour. Yeah, if it's not been matchmaking in the background, I'm going to be disappointed. What's been loading screen? No, I don't really like that. He says OG Owen, you know what the OG would be. It's the same thing. Why isn't it playing? Ah, let's do the future stuff then. I don't know what the difference is, but that one's playing, so I picked that one. How weird. Ah. Uh, Perhaps the cars. What have we got? We don't have anything, anything, don't have anything. Okay. That's frustrating. Yeah, again, we don't have anything there. It's interesting that we haven't had anything from PlayStation Plus for that. It stopped matchmaking. Oh my, what, what? Gundam Evolution, or whatever it was called, was stopped after like a year because it didn't get a lot of players. Even that had matchmaking in the background. This doesn't. Even the Splatoon 3, you can play around and shoot things in the lobby area whilst it's matchmaking. I can't believe it stopped matchmaking. You people... What? You see that matchmaking error? The first experience with this game is really poor. It's really frustrating. It'd be interesting in the comments if you guys have had just as a uh, poor running experience of Fortnite as I have. Why can't I play this one? Um, should we try Fresh Mountain again? Oh, I don't, I want to try something else. All these. See, I've got to hit down. Possible parkour. Is that 40 levels back to back? What's it mean? 40 levels. Are there 40 different tracks? 40 tracks back to back? 40 sections? On a level? <laughs> I don't know. Come on game, talk to me. Minecraft racing. Oh, there's really not a lot of players. Why 
why should, why can't this be an option of like what's popular? Now, if I hit triangle, it's for this specific track. It doesn't like let me filter. I hit the wrong button, haven't I? I hit go to the lobby or something. Well, I guess fresh mountain because there's nothing else happening. happy there's some music playing in the lobby or in this zone it's not exactly fantastic but at least it's something wait what's happening i oh, know i changed it to metallica why is it going back yeah select play This is such a such a disappointing first impression. People talk so positively about this game, like Fortnite in general. I had no idea it was so trash. This whole UI and lobby experience. I mean, Star Wars Hunters, the last couple of videos, the whole front lobby screen is just plastered full of boxes. But at least it's responsive. And at least there was a tutorial for a lot of it. Let's see, this says mesh making um, lobby was full. Mesh making lobby was full. Why just say. I don't know. It's weird. The gameplay has been fine, it's just the whole UI experience has got me wound up. And it doesn't even feel old. Like you can't use the age of the game because this game mode specifically, and like the Lego one, are new. What session? We didn't get into anything. Why is there not session expired? Do you want me to automatically do this? Why can't I just hit a button and it'll just automatically keep trying until it finds a game? Look at all this space on the screen. We don't, do we really need the car that big? Do we really need our character that big? Can't there be just one more box? Or make match making like a ticker across the top. So we can see what's happening. Our character could go in the bottom left. The car could go central. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and wait to make sure make this video an hour long either. If we don't get a game soon, I think I might just call it an end of the video, even if, even if it is just tutorial, two races, three races. See, I don't want to press L2 to get stuff in the corner. Because the last time I pressed L1 and R2, it seemingly stopped matchmaking me. So I want to keep matchmaking, but I was what's Fortnite Reloaded, you know? Why can't that be a ticker? Like, why can't I just swipe across the touchpad and that extend that box, L2 box, across? To like a brief summary or something. Like, is this the same lobby on all platforms? Is that what they've done? They've not tailored it to the platform, they've just gone, here's one universal one. So we're all stuck with something that's a compromise on all of them. I mean, all the platforms. At least there's a race. And there's some sound. And there are some Japanese names, so this is real people. And I don't know Metallica music, so I have no idea what song we're playing. New, old, if you'll give me a copyright strike, I have no idea. At this point, my experience with the game has not been... It wouldn't surprise me, let's just put it that way. Besides, in my videos, the game music is 
typically 8 to 10, no, 8 to 12 decibels lower than rig, the standard. So we've got daily quest on the left there. Do you reckon it's going to tell us? Like where that is on the menu? Or is it going to show us how to redeem it? And mobile games are more than happy to say, hey, this is where you get the quest, this is what happens when you finish them. There we go, as a boost. Hey! Got some hang time there. We're fourth, not bad. I'd say it's only my second time in this track. Ah, there was something on the wall there. It's a little difficult to swing from drift to drift. We hit a thousand. Ah, oh, missed the boost. Oh, where are we fifth? That's all right. Basically, when we finish higher than we were first time, I'd be happy. Come on, tight, tight, tight. Ah, I think that worked. Yeah, I didn't want to do the extra boost because I was worried I was going to make a big mistake. Yeah, you can't swing one boost to another. I can't remember what game it was that did that. Was it Blur? Split second? One of those where you could swing the car from one drift to another. Maybe it was one of the Motorstorm games. Ah, nearly got fifth again. But it's a fallout thing somewhere, okay. We were uh, five seconds off. If I hit next race, it's just going to be this mountain again, isn't it? Let's get a lobby. It's a shame that for this collaboration, there's just one track. There should be like um a circuit track and like this one where it's from start to finish up basically going down the mountain like why can't we race around the mountain top like the volcano's in the middle why can't we race around the volcano but going down wasn't too bad there we go long wait don't worry if i ever play this game again i will cut out a lot of this waiting so you just see like in Splatoon videos I do and um, Chrome Stars and it's just game, 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 game. I cut out all this fluff after the first video. Unless it's very egregious and then yes, sometimes I'll even show just how bad it can be. Also, it was the Gundam Evolution game. Because the game didn't tell me how to do settings, I didn't know I could change region. Circle claim. Okay. Didn't tell me what any of that meant. Fine. Just kind of typical with this game, isn't it? Why is it loading? It already has loaded the general playlist of everything more than once. Why can't it just load that list and then have spinning the amount of players on it? Isn't the game smart enough to know it's now five, ten minutes later? Nothing has changed other than the player count. Why can't the player count load separate to this? Oh man, let's just do one more. I hit the wrong button. Triangle. Like I said, this will be the last race.
There's nothing in that playlist section that said um, offline racing. That you know, when you race against AI. Why can't it just download some drive guitars or stuff? Like if, if I have my friends list and some of my friends have played it, why can't I just get like drive guitar information and just race against my friends offline? Oh, this feels so like tacked on. It really does. It doesn't, it feels less cohesive than Trackmania, but the racing is less buggy and more solid than Trackmania. But the whole UI experience is just as bad as Trackmania. Oh, it was like, it was just as bad. Disney Speedstorm was quite rough as well on Switch. I did that a while ago. I should perhaps go back and check that. I don't think I've played that even solo since I did that video. And the music stops when it hits connecting. Okay. And there's not a Japanese name on the left there, so... Again, are we really playing against anyone? Twenty nine percent boost. I don't hear any of my um, engine sounds. It's the tutorial again, but with people. How disappointing! I think I did get hit by one of the hazards. trying to be a little bit too smart, I suppose, to, um, again, if you're in the air, you're not going fast, you're just losing speed, so don't drift in the air, you should you'll be faster just to head down and go. I kind of want, oh, what game was it, that you could hit L and R and sort of ram into the side of the opposing player. Oh. Run. <laughs> Was it Burnout? It might have been Burnout. Or one of those similar games. Again, the second blur, possibly? If a most storm might have done that. I kind of feel like I want to nudge. If they're going to be hazards, let me nudge them into the hazards. doing really well and then something I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, this music's getting a tad repetitive. But I'll take second. How far ahead were they? Three seconds. Yeah, I've had enough. It's weird. With the Metallica track, we're getting real people, but this ranked mode, it really doesn't feel like we're getting real people at all. Which is a shame, because if there's not going to be real people, then they just make it offline and make it its own kind of thing. Or let us race offline and say hey match foul do you want to continue online or do you want to stay offline and then let us press a button and dive in like hit the touchpad and take us in well that's rocket racing I'm deflated i was in i was really wanting to play some real cool online racing I got poor racing most of it wasn't online poor user experience long load times multiple multiple failures 
<laughs> One race with no sound whatsoever. <sighs> Such a disappointment. Oh well. That's Rocket Racing. Wow, will I come back to it? Probably not, honestly. I might just uninstall it. It's like 65 gigabytes. It's a lot of space in the hard drive taken up. It's something that's just disappointing. There's very little to redeem about it. I mean, there's no car customization, no character customization. I mean, yes, you can pick costumes. But why can't my guy be yellow, like my side colors? Why can't I make my car yellow? There's no. There's just so little here. Yeah, as I said earlier, it just feels tacked on. And there we go, we finally loaded. <laughs> oh, well, I hope you guys have had a better experience with this. I hope you're having a lot of fun. And if you do, just let me know in the comments. Um, is it worth sticking? Are there better tracks, better days, better modes? Is there something coming up, perhaps? A whole new season coming up? It says coming soon at the top there for one of the Metallica things, but you think that it's now. Where is it? Metallica's here. See, it's Metallica's here, yeah? Fortnite for season four now. Okay, okay. This is Metallica coming soon. What game mode is that? Is that racing? Is that Fortnite? Is that festival? <laughs> even the per even that advert's terrible. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. So until the next online Saturday video, or until I see you checking out some of the other videos, playlists, or YouTube shorts, maybe I'll see you over at Kofi. That's a small YouTube channel. We get no money from YouTube. Over at Kofi, we can get donations, including PayPal. And we have a couple of subscription tiers as well, so maybe one of them will interest you. But wherever, whenever I see you again, please take care.